I'm taking you to your dad so he can look after you. Come on, let's have some fun. You're gonna fix that penguin, bro. Nope. Grandpa, this thing doesn't work. Oh, God. Nothing. Oh! 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 We're gonna talk about one of the most inspirational movies of this year, Bad Grandpa. Yes. Yes. Uh, truly an inspiration. Truly, and an, an uh, Oscar contender, definitely. I don't know about Oscar contender. Oh, I know. But I got a lot to look forward to when I'm 80 years old, man. When you turn 80, women let you get away with shit. Oh, people. Well, they, yeah, jump. they let you literally get away with shit. Yeah, they, they will. You can yeah, shit. You can yeah. literally shit the walls, it's, and people be like, "Oh, ain't that cute?" It's expected of you. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, <laughs> you can go to a club and run around with your nuts hanging out. People be like, "Oh, he crazy." Yeah. Look they, at they, that. It's the only time they go, "Oh, isn't that cute?" <laughs> <laughs> you can give. They aren't going. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> well, maybe so, but ain't, hey, nobody's calling the police. No. You know, <laughs> people know. laughing at you. You mean let, now? Let I, I, and I, and, they, am I to take it that? Somewhere in here, gra- bad grandpa is groping women. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's all the. You <laughs> figure the woman like uh, he's just senile, and you can't hit an old guy. You know, <laughs> shit. I right? kick an old man down the steps. It is. <laughs> I tell you what, it depends is on who all, you're talking to. Nobody's groping you, Leon. <laughs> the, and, and this movie is Johnny Knoxville as 86 year old Irvin, and he's got his grandson Billy, is played by a kid named. Jackson Nickel, who's He's actually like nine years old, I think. Yeah, yeah, actually, really cute kid, man. But in this movie, he does is Johnny Knoxville in costume, right? And and so it's one of those movies where you know he's it's, it's shot comedy. It's kind of that Borat formula sure. where he goes around doing all this crazy stuff, getting re- the reactions from real people while they're telling a narrative in the middle of it. And I mean. 86 year old man, you can do all kind of the shit that he does in this movie. It's the kind of shit that when you when, when you're our age right now. It's uh, you. You go to jail. You get shot. <laughs> you'll be you'll, you'll you, be you get beat the fuck harassment. You, you get beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you get beat the fuck up in well, this movie. He yeah, goes. Corey, you you're black, so that's probably gonna happen when you're 80. Yeah, <laughs> <Get a shit. laughs> that's gonna happen next week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been lucky so far. <laughs> Not even a white guy. I mean, that's why you don't make bad 40 year old. There's just no point. I was like, you know, no, you get that, punched. You know, that movie goes you out know, the window. Yeah, nice tits, lady, and you get a broken jaw. That movie yeah. would be 30 yeah. seconds long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably be ballsier to make a movie like that you know <laughs> and that's what it is i mean he's uh as as irving or irvin Irv- it's, it's irving irvin yeah, yeah, yeah. As, he- as irving he's the story is is that his his deadbeat daughter gives him her son to keep and he's and, and the thing is he's happy right now he's he's probably the happiest he's ever been in his life because his he just been given the news that his wife just died <laughs> and he and he's yeah. like well, shit, she ain't fucked me since the 90s anyway, so <laughs> happy days are here again. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting next to this woman saying, hey, she ain't gave me no nookie for a while. I mean, she, don't get me wrong, I'm upset, but fuck, man, she got on my nerves. <laughs> and, and then eventually his, his yeah, grandson gets thrusted upon him where, where he's like, man, fuck this. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's funny that this this movie even needed a, a, a narrative at all. You know? well, that's, like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I heard him interviewed this morning, Johnny, Johnny Knoxville, and he talked about how there was a, a plot to this and I was like there is well, so that's even thing bother of, with a plot well, it yeah. seems like yeah. they could do this without one if they wanted to mm-hmm. but they were like well we already did jackass movies and, yeah. yeah let's do jackass shit but <laughs> like Borat does and that's the thing is uh you know right when he's thinking like he's he's got some freedom you know they they bring the grandson why he's at the middle of of her funeral <laughs> and, okay. and 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 the thing is they, they bring the grandson but you can say the grandson or as he calls him the cock blocker <laughs> 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 so he's he's you know they they go it's it's that's probably the weakest thing about the movie i mean there's some weak things in it but one of the weakest things is that it's the narrative they have in here is predictable. It's a road trip movie while he bonds with his grandson. And at the end, you know, he's not going to actually give him away. He's going to, hey, you know, I can't get rid of you, you little scamp. Yeah. Okay, because it would sound a little bit like Robot and Frank. It's not that. No. Oh, no. Hell no. no. By the way, no. Whoa, wait. Yo, calm down. We're the only four people that saw Robot and Frank, so nobody even knows what the fuck you're talking about right now. But it's, no, it's, uh, it's, it, I, the, the thing about this movie is that, it doesn't have the satirical edge that Borat does. No, Borat not, not by a, a long stretch. Yeah, no. yeah, Borat was actually making a statement about some of the hypocrisy that you see here in America, along with some slapstick stuff. And this doesn't have 
the reality of or even the daring that something like Jackass does. But if you just like seeing an old guy fall and fuck with people, then it's funny. I mean, it's, 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 it's just Candid fun. Camera the movie. That's it's pretty much what it is. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, when you get reactions, that's all you're getting from people is reactions. You're not getting nowhere near like like the 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 insane you know the insaneness of of uh, you, when you when you watch a movie like Borat, where it's like. Those people are making the movie, not necessarily Borat. He's he's presenting something that's so far fetched. But you know, when these people cut loose by just opening up their mouths, you know, yeah. that's the real treat. This not so much. It's just their normal reaction of seeing an old man, you know, letting his letting his grandson drink beer, or, or you know, just just the crazy situation they get to. Because I mean, it is it is jackass. It re- that's really all it is. You right. know, that's down funny. to the core. Like the jackass movies were really more about the stunts. But during the show, they used to do shit like this all the time. Yeah. Where it was like a big part of it was like setting up like pranks where they do weird shit happening in public and film how people react. Candid mm-hmm. camera type shit. Mm-hmm. Except it was usually silly. I'm like the best one ever for me was there where they dressed up as two opposing hockey team members in like a sandwich shop. Mm-hmm. Like the one guy's dressed up in full <laughs> outfit and then the other guy comes in the other team and they look at each other and get into a huge fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. that's awesome. Well, they're, they're doing more shit like that. I mean, of course, there's always a scene in a grocery store where they try to figure yeah. out to do the craziest thing before the owner, you know, finds out and just unleashes on them. Uh, but, yeah, dealing with a kid, I mean, that is the one aspect where, yeah, you have an innocent kid and you're making him do kind of crazy shit, like, or, or and even say crazier shit to people he sees in public and just seeing their reaction. It kind of reminded me of... Uh, of that show, what was that? There, there's a show where like, little kids used to go and do interviews, right. and and talk to adults and and like Wonder ask them, Show, Wonder Show, yeah, Wonder lot, Shows and uh, something, Wonder like Shows and that. that's oh, it, yeah. that's it, Wonder Jeez. Shows and so the kids doing a lot of that stuff in between, but it's the it's the in between like every time they get done with the scenario. That little gap they have, that's when that narrative kind of starts to take off. They have like little bits and pieces, but it gets really ridiculous when they really try to throw some real emotion, even though you're getting like really a half cocked story there yeah. with, 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 the, with the two. But uh, you're just waiting for okay, let's let's see if this you know let's see if this next gag tops the other one. And a lot of times it doesn't, but sometimes you know it does. I mean, I, honestly, my favorite part in here was the black male the, strip club. Strip club. <laughs> that by far. If you pay any kind of money whatsoever to see this movie, see it for the fact that you're going to see something you've never seen before, which is the all male black strip club and the goings on in that place. Man, somebody, wow! Like somebody that, on the comments page is going to go. I've been doing all male black strip clubs. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I think somebody in this room might say that. <laughs> yeah, oh. co-host, why you lying? Man? Oh, you know, oh, come oh, on, man. sorry. Uh, yeah, that would act like you've never been yeah. before. Corey, you got something. Crazy Corey, guy over there, Corey, man. you got something in your eye. You got, you got, you got some I'm, dust or something. I, I'm sorry, I don't think you, under, you should have said worked in an all black male strip club. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Cyrus, don't act yeah, like yeah, you Cyrus, didn't work. come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. Corey's roommate. Yeah, yeah, man. That was a spring. Yeah, oh, Raymond, Raymond. Yeah, I didn't mean to, but you get. Junk, you use too much of that spray tan shit. You have no idea where you <laughs> gotta use it up. somewhere, man. Yeah, I don't yeah. I know. No, it's man, that is the funniest scene. It is, it really I mean, is. That uh, because a nutsack to a black man is like garlic to a vampire. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's where, and I hate to keep bringing up the nutsack, but it it play that nutsack is like another character in the movie. It really it's, is. Uh, yeah. You know, and Johnny Knoxville has done that joke before in the Jackass movies. If you've sure, seen yeah. it, it's where he's old and he's so old that his his testicles are almost touching the floor. He goes, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, and you got to see it. I'm not, but it's funny because he goes to this strip club and it gets to a point where he has to dance with his nuts hanging out. And these big old strong men who a moment ago talking about because he come up and say, "Hey, you look real strong and sexy." And guys like, "Hey, man, get the fuck off me! What's wrong with you?" <laughs> when his when his nutsack comes out, those black men, big old muscly b- black men. They head backstage quick, and, 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 and not only they're like, not only they're like <laughs> exactly. you, you've never seen so many muscly, like almost Rick James, like throwback <laughs> male strippers in your life. Yeah, when they see these nuts, it's like the clans coming after them. Yeah, they are running for the hills. <laughs> to, for, the, for, the, for the KKK, don't burn crosses. Just show up on my lawns with your nuts <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> we'll move in a minute. And I just love all the black women in that pla- place just laughing their fucking ass They were having off. a good time. Yeah, they were laughing, having a good time, just like, Seeing this 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 chaos happen while all the guys were running like oh, like like the place was on fucking fire and they couldn't find the exit. I mean, these big old men. Those balls like, are haunted. <laughs> Paranormal activity. Oh. Hey, you got to try to sit up here. Hey, hey, man, you ain't gonna don't touch me with that. I ain't gay. Yeah. Nuts that come out. He's like, oh, man, I'm from the hills. 
girls. <laughs> and I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, you are gay. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, looking at the outfits you chose for yourself. That was the test things. right there. <laughs> yeah. You know what the funny part about that was? Uh-huh. The guy that just said, fuck it, I'm going to keep dancing. I know, yeah. <laughs> there was one guy, he was dedicated to his crap. He's yeah. like, shit, I'm a professional. He, he's like, hey, I, I'm all about competitive uh, stripping. Yes. <laughs> I like how when y'all talk about that guy, you suddenly become Billy. Oh. <laughs> Listen really? to your voices. Yeah. Oh, really? Billy. <laughs> and that's how they really look, talk. Right? You can't watch a male stripper and not make a reference to Billy. I, I even told co hosts there's a guy coming out there doing the robot and shit, and I yeah. said, that's Billy on Tuesdays, man. Yeah. His, his teeth were stripping. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the enamel took a close off the shit. Somehow I feel sorry for Billy. I don't know how this happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't feel I sorry do. for him. <laughs> no, nah, man. It's, it's, but it's a funny movie. I mean, the problem with the humor that we see here are, is, is that it is, as we said, it's just all based on reactions. But there, did you notice that there were a lot of scenes where they didn't push it as long as much as you thought they would? Like, it had it been Sasha Baron Cohen, mm-hmm. he would have went for it, man. Yeah, they just let, let the cameras just keep rolling. And this, obviously, yeah, it, it, that, that was the one kind of surprising thing is that as soon as you thought, oh, man, this is starting to get heated, you know, where the yeah. an owner is yelling at somebody at the guys because they did something fucked up, the camera would just stop and they'd move on. And I'm like, oh, okay. You could, yeah. well, I wonder if somebody comes in at that point. Cause it's just, hey, man, calm, calm down. We, we're just shooting the thing. It's, it's no big that's deal. What it kind of, that's, that's what it, that's what like. it felt yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, well, it's funny because uh, cause Johnny Knoxville, at, at this point now where he's in his, you know, in his 40s, probably you know, getting close to 50, and it's like, how can I keep the jackass thing going but not keep getting pulverized because yeah. everything on me hurts and I'm wearing a catheter. Play an old man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's still doing stunts. I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, not, I, know, I know the trailers have all shown that uh, that kitty ride that goes on the fritz and just goes to crashing through the window. Yeah, I mean, right. he, he did that. Grandpa! What? This thing doesn't work. What do you want me to do about it? Fix it. Did you Try see it. I was talking to a lady? Yes, but look. Did Try you put it. money in there? God. Funny, it doesn't work. Oh God! Ow! Nothing. Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! I'm all right. You okay, Grandpa? Why'd you tell me to get in there? Cause I wanted you to fix it. Well, it's fixed. But that's the other thing that my only complaint about the movie is that. If you've seen the trailers, you've seen a majority of the good stuff. I, I kind of kept thinking, that I was wish my fear about this. I, you know, and, and that was my only problem. I was like, man, I wish they would have left some of this uh, alone, at least the, the highlights of it, because yeah. yeah, it is all spoiled in that trailer. Because um, I thought, man, you know what? If I didn't know that this that that, that thing with that kitty ride, if I didn't see that coming, I knew I would have laughed my ass off. Because yeah. I mean, just seeing it. On the commercial for the first time, I was like, "Oh fuck!" You know, I had that reaction. Yeah. This time, you're just like, uh, "And and it, it comes out being the the weakest." Yeah, of it's the funny because they do because with the Jackass movies, they would always show some some clips and be like, "Man, I wish they hadn't shown that." But then mm-hmm. when you go, it's such a treasure trove of great stunts that mm-hmm. you like you forget all well, about. Well, that's it. the thing, man. It's just these guys have a reputation for pushing it to the limit. Yeah, and this movie is 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 relatively tame by comparison. And, yeah, and but it's not always bad. I mean, sometimes you just sometimes you just want to have fun. You don't always want to be made to feel uncomfortable. So it's cool that they kind of stop and say, "All right, we're not going to go as far as we can." And you, you know, you just want to laugh some, at some point. And I and I don't mind that. The, the Pussy. person, no, oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, the he got a phone that, call no, from Evil Knievel going. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that shit out. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and like a, we we we've seen people do this where it's gone horribly wrong i mean where it's not even funny yeah if, if you True. remember inappropriate comedy oh yeah where that Ugh. just from the very beginning it wasn't funny it was uncomfortable it, and, and it was offensive I it mean, wasn't that bad yeah. yes it was <laughs> yeah, yeah it was sorry about that <laughs> nobody believes you co-host <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't care what they believe <laughs> I, I was laughing <laughs> you, but you only laughed at the asian part uh right? the asian part was uh that was, that was fucking hilarious yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah but you know the the it was the the kid in this movie is the one that made me laugh uh, because he's that kid is just he's not he's a natural he, yeah he is he, why he, in, in the interview Johnny Knoxville was saying they they were asking him like you know it was it hard to push that kid to do these things he's like you kidding we had to dial mm-hmm. that kid back we had to tell him to to ease off well that's the thing about the kid he's not he's not like he's not a little precocious kid man he's he's not mugging or anything like that he's just he was out there just kind of quietly doing his thing, mm-hmm. and he's making people kind of feel uncomfortable because of that. He's, there's a point he's telling this this guy, he's like, hey, you know, I need a new dad. And the guy's like, uh, well, I don't 
think it's that easy. You're my new dad. He even tells the guy, <laughs> yeah. he tells the guy this. He says, hey, because he asked the guy with his name, Bob or whatever. He's like, Bob, look at me in the eye. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's yeah. like, fuck, yeah. man. What and, and, and and he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty spot on. I was, that's another thing you can't help but notice just how that kid just seems like all this is just coming really natural to him. Where yeah. I'm like, okay, this, that's a young jackass in the making right there. <laughs> they, they did a good job. I think that kid, wasn't he in a movie called uh, Fun, Fun Size? Size? Was, was that the same that kid? Him. Oh, okay. that kid. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was running around in his underwear in that yeah. movie. Too, yeah, he was, he was out of control in that movie. Yeah, yeah. little Chris Farley is what we got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jackass Jr. Oh, <laughs> nice little Golly, what's, what's, what's Jackass going to be like under his reign? Where they just like burning down schools and laughing about <laughs> it, <right? laughs> Raping horses or something. Shooting bullets know. at people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? Hey, I'm just kidding. You all right? No, you raised me. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. Ah. Yeah, but, well, uh, generation's got to push things further than the next, so next will be just a suicide cult, basically, <laughs> Jackass. It's like, dude, we are going to jump <laughs> off the Empire State Building. <laughs> well, you were... 80 pounds of dog shit taped to our body. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> you, know, well, you know what? You guys joke, but uh, just as a little side story here, there was there was uh, a teacher who walked into a classroom with a mask on, a ski mask, and said, All right, everybody freeze! Everybody get down! And all the kids are like, fuck! Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and, and then... At the end of it, he, he took off his mask and said, No, okay, at the end of it, he was fired. Yeah, no, he, no, he said, no, listen, he said, he said, all right, hey, everybody, I was joking. Now, see, this is what you're doing. I just want to let you know how serious a, a, a situation like this is. And the kid's like, you know, one kid shitting on himself. And like, man, you couldn't just, oh. like, play a slideshow or fucking, what the you know, shit? send this to a website or something. And you think he got fired, but the principal came out and said, it might have been a little harsh, but... The kids learned something that day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Learn to shit the pants. Yeah, I, I, I guarantee by the end of the month, once those parents find out what exactly. happened. Exactly. <laughs> but one shit. parent came out and said, you know, I think my kid actually needed that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's the, that's because, the generation these days, you I know. So. What do you learn that helps you in that scenario? <laughs> right. Don't go to school. What's right. yeah. right. <laughs> the only possible thing? Maybe, Wear a flak yeah. jacket yeah, maybe, everywhere you Maybe go. you learn to fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that lesson was sponsored by the NRA. Everybody should bring a gun to school. That was, <laughs> that's what yeah, you so should Yeah, so next know. time a teacher tries that, he can just get <laughs> shot up. They can like just shot and shoot his ass right there. <laughs> it was just yeah. homework. <laughs> <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> well, you know, getting back. Good, good job, kids. <laughs> <laughs> getting back to that kid, though. Um, that's one. That's one of the highlights. I will say is that when him and Johnny are, are well, when him and his grandpa are together. Yeah. There, there are, are actual moments in there where you're wondering if they're just kind of letting the cameras run because, like, they, you know, there was a scene where they were like, the kid did a fart, and you know, and, and they. And he was making a joke about it. And you can see it seemed like a genuine laugh from Johnny. And I think that helped a lot with the chemistry be between the two because uh, I was, like, wondering, why is this called Bad Grandpa? Because this, this guy should be called – it should be called Badass Grandpa because he's, like, letting the kid just, like, be a kid doing what he wants along with drinking fucking beer. And I'm like, man, that's – that, that's awesome. I was like, wow, I can't I imagine I if well, I had I don't a know grandfather if the kid was like really that. I don't think he was really drinking beer. Was oh, he wasn't? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you bought that shit. <laughs> I love how he's like, man, that's an awesome grandpa. Why should we go bad, grandpa? I'm like, he was feeding a nine-year-old beer, co-host. No, no, and that's, and, that's and bad, the problem with that is? That's a bad grandpa. No, he's right. Awesome grandpa. <laughs> yeah. I wish he was my grandpa. <laughs> no and then, I like how he'll see something on, on the screen. He'll call out. He'll, you have the best special effects in. Co-host will be like, man, that's fake. But he fell for this shit. This kid <laughs> drinking his beer. <laughs> it's not but juice in a like, can. you like, man, he was drinking beer. I, I saw kid, it. That kid was getting fucked so, up. So how many people came over to say something about it when they saw it, see the nine-year-old drinking beer? You know, and they, even that didn't go as bad as it, as it oh, could. Really? I mean, people mm -hmm. just came over and said, hey, what, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. nothing too crazy. A yeah. lot of, you know, I think in today's world, a lot of people are like, I'm just not getting fucking involved. Right. You exactly. Know? Unless it's like out and out, like somebody's, out, unless he starts raping the kid right there. It's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, that's none of my business. I don't, yeah. I don't know. And, I will, and most of them will just shake their head. I, know. Up, I, I, almost have a, I almost have a fear that these, these, uh, these candid camera like type movies are going to eventually just not be good anymore because the, not, the public just is, just, I think they're somewhat self-aware, but also, yeah, like you said, they don't want to be involved. So they're like, I'm sure they were struggling. Like, God, can we have at least somebody make a reaction to this craziness? I mean, yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, something bad can happen to you. Everybody go like, oh, they're filming a stunt. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of people are kind of self-aware these days. And maybe that's another reason why they couldn't take it that far. Even the people that they were trying to offend, I don't know if they were trying to really offend them, but you expect people to get offended by certain things. 
and a lot of it were they were just saying crude things to women. And women just like <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> they don't they didn't care. Well, that's too true. You know, a nine year old kid or like an eighty year old man saying crude things to a woman. What the fuck she's supposed to do? Exactly. Except laugh at that. Yeah, point. they don't take that seriously. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, look. We got YouTube. We got Vine videos now. I mean, we can we get real reactions from crazy shit on the street every day, and we see it on 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 our computers all the time. Mm-hmm. And so that kind of takes some of the some of the strength away from from a movie like this. But there's a there's a lot of funny stuff that you didn't see in the trailer because they can't do it unless you have a red band trailer. I don't think they showed. There's still a good things a good number of things in here that you didn't see. Mm. And like I said, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't rush out to see this. No, but, I mean, yeah, it's, but it's a. Uh, I mean, it ain't it ain't nutsack in 3D or anything like that. You don't really have to, you don't really have to rush out and see it. But I did have a good time. I mean, mm-hmm. if you get two or three, I mean, hard stomach hurting laughs from something, that's worth seeing for at least a matinee, and that's what I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. It is a matinee. Yeah, the thing is, we have been, you know, we've we've been having this type of stuff shoved down our throats and our faces so many times that yeah, it just after a while, you're like, all right, you know, that's that's fun, but. Are you going to really remember it? Not so much. But when you're in the theater, you are going to have a great time with it. The The last scene definitely uh, is worth it. I mean, I thought that was – if they did anything clever in the movie, that was it, honestly, uh, what they did. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah. uh, it's definitely worth seeing, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Gave me some ideas, though. Oh, shit. Come I'm getting now. out of here. Come Keep on. me out of it. Keep me out of it. I don't want to be an accessory. We, you think I want to wait 40 years to grab ass and walk around my nuts? Like I'm getting a makeup kit. <laughs> I'm going to be an old man. You're going to be the kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you and I both going to go out and just grab than, ass all be, day. It's better than being your left nut. Yes, I, I will. I will gladly do that. <laughs> now that I think about it, man. <laughs> no, don't think about it. Sorry. You fit right down there, man. Uh, next time I should just shut Can't the, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get me out of the sack. <laughs> hey, lady. <laughs> Talk to the nuts. <laughs> well, they're going to take that child away from you. I'm sorry. You are sorry. You're sorry as hell. You're very pretty you're when you're mad. You're pissing me off. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. What's your stripper say to me? I look like a stripper. I'll just call you cinnamon. <laughs> Want to have some fun? Yeah. You're a pretty little girl. You got it? One of these girls is a boy and party. Is that weird? We've just never seen it, so it's different. Mm-hmm.